In this video, we will cover the keyboard shortcuts associated with the function keys F3 and F4 for Microsoft Excel. Let us begin covering them one by one. F3 key. In our workbook, we can have defined names. We can have defined names for a cell, range of cells, table, constant, and formula. If we have created defined names in our workbook then, pressing the F3 function key will open the paste name dialog box. It contains a list of all the defined names, in that workbook, to choose from. If we have not defined any name then, pressing the F3 key will do nothing. To open the name manager, press Ctrl, plus, F3 keys. The name manager dialog box will appear. Here you can create new names, or edit and delete the previously defined names. If we have a selection of data, and we want to define names from top or bottom rows, or from left or right columns, then we can use create names from selection. Pressing Ctrl, plus, Shift, plus, F3 will open the Create Names from the Selection dialog box. Here we have to choose which part of the selection we want to use to define the name. It can be from the top of the selection. Or bottom. Or, if selection is a table then from left or right columns. Here we have to checkmark the appropriate option. Then click OK. We can see that a defined name month has been created. To open the new name dialog box, press, Ctrl, plus, Alt, plus, F3 keys. A new name dialog box will open. From here we can create new names. These were the F3 shortcuts with respect to name manager and define names. Please check out this video, or the link in the description, to learn more about name manager and define names in Excel. To open the insert function dialog box, press, the Shift, plus, F3 keys. In here, you can search for functions, as you need, depending on the category of the function. Or, you can type here, and search. For example, I will search for lookup. Then press go. I will get a list of lookup functions to choose from. Suppose we choose VLOOKUP. Then it will prompt us to provide the necessary function arguments for the VLOOKUP function. After providing the arguments, Click OK. We will get the result. Let us move to the next key. F4 key. There are three types of cell reference used in Excel. They are relative cell reference, absolute cell reference, and mixed cell reference. The mixed cell reference can be either column locked or row locked. Suppose we have this formula where we are multiplying the net salary with the 5% tax mentioned in cell F1. In our formula, we can click on a cell reference F1, and press the F4 function key. It changes the type for that cell reference. If we press the F4 repeatedly, it will toggle through all the types of the cell reference for it. This is relative cell reference. Pressing F4 will change it to absolute cell reference. Pressing the F4 again will make it a row-locked mixed cell reference. One more press of F4 will change it to a column-locked mixed cell reference. Press F4 again and it will be back to relative cell reference. This is how the F4 key can come in handy with respect to the cell references. If you have an Excel workbook open then, pressing Ctrl, plus, F4 will close the workbook. The workbook will close, but, the Excel application will stay open. If you have made any changes in the workbook then, it will prompt you to save the changes before closing the workbook. To close the Excel completely, press the Alt, plus F4 keys. Both the workbook as well as the application, are closed. If you have made any changes in the workbook then it will prompt you to save the changes before closing the workbook. So these were the shortcuts used in Excel associated with the function keys F3 and F4. If you liked the information then, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.